Hey guys, I'm Londi. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a Target haul. Now I have reviewed Target a few times, a couple times on my channel. If you watch those videos, you know how much I love Target, okay? So I went inside the store and decided to check out what they had for spring and summer. Now I will say it was a little bit scarce. Okay, but I did find a few cute items, even some clearance items. Now their dressing rooms are still closed here, so I literally had no choice but to buy them, bring them home, and try them on. So I'm trying them on for you guys, and if they don't work out, then I can just take them back to the store. I'm sorry if this video is a little bit dark. It's kind of cloudy today, and the lighting in here is just a little bit weird. So hopefully I can fix it in editing, if not, I apologize if it's if it's a little bit darker than it should be. All right, so let's get started with the haul. So let's start with what I'm wearing right now. So I'm actually wearing these green sort of like stone wash jeans and they're a different shape for me. They're more like mom jeans or boyfriend jeans. It's a different it's a different style. They have this uh, little detachable belt. You can just tie it and either wear it on the side or in the front or however you want, or you can just take it off completely if you don't wanna wear the belt. I really like the color of the jeans. That's what made me grab them. They are this cute green color, which is not a color that you normally find denim in. So I was drawn to that. Now, I thought I picked up a size 26. That is what the hanger said. However, as I was literally putting them on for the haul, I noticed that there are 24, but they still fit. So I think, I have been working out a little bit y'all, but the rest of my jeans fit like normal. So I don't think that's what it is. These are just, I think, cut more generously because they're supposed to be like a baggier fit. And even the 24 is still baggy. Like, this is still baggy, like it still has that baggy crotch that I really hate. And they're also stretchy as well. So these are really comfortable. They're a mid-rise, so they don't come up really high, but you know, they're very comfortable jeans, but the style is just, I don't, it's just not me. I want to kind of venture off into a different style of jean instead of just skinny jeans because that's typically what I wear. And honestly, it's because being an apple shape, that is what fits the best, where I don't have the baggy crotch and the baggy legs and then fit it up here. So these jeans are the epitome of what I try to avoid. However, if you like these type of jeans, these sort of baggy, relaxed fit, give these a shot. They're affordable and these are a really cute color. So. I, you know, I would definitely check them out if this is your style. Now, next up is just this simple white top that I'm wearing with the jeans. You guys, I literally found this on clearance for $3, okay? Always check out Target's clearance racks. I'm telling you, you never know what you might find. So this is just a regular, it's kind of a crop white tee. I don't know about y'all, I am obsessed with white t-shirts. I remember watching, I think her name is Gabriella Fortunato. Some, I'll sometimes watch like her plus size try-ons and stuff. She was the first person I heard say how much she loves white shirts. I am the same way. Like I love white shirts. I feel like you can never have enough white shirts, which is why I got two of these same shirts. It was literally only $3. One of them was in a 4X. This one is in a 3X. So if they still have these available online, I'll make sure to go ahead and link it down below but if you have a target in your area y'all check out target's clearance rack i'm telling you this top is just it's just a simple white top it has like this nice ribbing um it's kind of a small rib detail throughout the entire shirt and then it has this lace going around it very simple very basic but y'all i like i said i always need white shirts because honestly I ruined them very easily. So I figured I would still show you guys, even though it's just a simple basic top. Okay guys, we have another clearance find. Now again, if I can find this online, along with all of the other items today, everything will be linked down in the description box below. 
So this is a navy blue, sort of like a satiny dress. And it has this really pretty like print on it. It kind of looks like circles. It has like lines going through it. It also comes with this uh, detachable belt so you can take it off. It's cinched in at the wrist. <sighs> I got this in a 4X, okay? So it's giving me very choir vibes, okay? Very church. There's nothing wrong with that. I just don't like it for me. I It's, it's too covered up. So there's nothing in the front and then there's like a little keyhole in the back i think the dress feels really expensive it feels really well made i like that it has this sort of like ruffle down at the bottom i just don't think it's for me it's just it's just a little too mature for my taste i think now i was thinking like maybe if i try it with a different belt Maybe that can save it. So give me one second. I'm gonna see if it'll look better with another type of belt. So what do y'all think? I think this belt looks better with it because it breaks up the blue. The other belt is just all blue. The dress is blue. Nothing breaks it up. I think that this belt does help to do that. So I feel like this is for somebody. Like there are certain people who can pull these type of dresses off. I just don't know that I am one of those people. Okay, so I don't think I'm gonna keep this y'all. It's just, I, you know, even with the belt, I think it's nice. It will be fine for church. You know, it's very covered up. You're not showing anything. You're not showing anything but your ankles in this dress. So again, if this is more of your aesthetic, maybe more of kind of like the Victorian, more like classic, more modest style, I think this is a really nice dress. So if it's available, check it out. But for me, y'all, this, this, I hope this haul gets better. Maybe the next piece will be better. Okay, so this I like. This is a cute cardigan in coral. I wanted to get it in a 4X, but they only had a 3X, so I just got that, and I am fine with the 3X. So if you want it to fit maybe a little bit looser, you can you know, get your regular size or even size up in it. It has these cute, like two little pockets, which we always love pockets, and it's a very thin material the material feels really nice actually like it's it's good quality and it's just very soft it's perfect for the spring oh this color is so beautiful and vibrant y'all i love this love this and it's not that expensive it's like 25 dollars for this and you know y'all know plus size clothes and how expensive they can be so I really, really like this. Like this, this color is just bomb. It's just bomb. It's just so beautiful. They do have it in other colors as well. So I'm pretty sure they had like a gray and I think one other color, but I'm in love with this coral color. Like it's just, it's just beautiful. So I would have to say this is definitely my favorite so far. So next up, is this denim shirt, this denim button down shirt in this light wash color. Um, I don't like it, okay? It's, it's just not my style. So I was actually surprised, I took a chance on it. Even though it is in a 4X, button down shirts do not typically work well on me. They're normally too tight here, too baggy up here, or you know, the, the, the buttons gap. These buttons lay nicely, so I'll say that. Um, they actually did have some other print, so they had like pretty yellow color and just some other very springy colors. I should have tried one of those, but I don't have like a denim shirt and I always think they're kind of cool. This one is too cool, okay? It's very edgy, 
borderline macho, all right? It reminds me of like, first, it, the first thought I had was Rosie the Riveter, okay? So that's what it reminds me of. And then also just like if you go take your car for like an oil change or something, you see somebody, you know, name, I don't know, like a name tag that says Al or something on the front. It just gives me that uniform gas station vibe. Yeah, it's just not my style. It's just not for me. So it's made well. It has like the tortoise shell buttons going down the front. Um, it has this little pocket, you know, on, on the front of the shirt as well. It's a nice thin denim. The material is nice. It's not stretchy. And again, it lays nicely. So, you know, it just it's just a matter of style, I guess. But I took a chance with this one, but I'm not feeling it. Okay, so next up is another clearance find. This is just another basic top, but I thought it was really cute the way that it's made. It's like this camel color, I think it's rust is what they consider it to be. It's a waffle knit top. It's like a really small waffle texture to the shirt. And I like that it has this ruching right here in the front. I love it. I just think it's just a very cute basic top. I'm really drawn to like elevated basics, I guess you can say. So I like having basic tops, comfortable tops that just are a little bit more interesting than just like a regular crew neck tank or t-shirt or something. So that's what made me pick this one up. I love the color. I actually have some rust or camel color pants. They're actually camel and white they have like a print i've had them for years this top would look really really cute with those pants so it's also like a cropped length so you know you could wear it with like i don't know some high-waisted jeans or a skirt or whatever just like i said just a basic top but i really like it i think it's cute so staying in the same vein as elevated basics this is just a basic tank top, but I absolutely love the print. Now, every summer, every spring, y'all always go to Target and get at least a couple of their like basic knit tanks, which they normally bring out like different colors every year. They always have the, the basic, the black, the white, the gray, but sometimes they'll switch it up and do like a different color or a different print. So this is an animal print, but I love how it is. It's, it's, it's a, I can't really describe it. I like that the animal print is small. So like far away, you can't really tell what it is, but up close, I really do like this tank. Now I got it in a 4X and I'm kind of regretting that. It feels just a little bit too loose on the sides. So I'm thinking maybe I should switch it for a 3X. They had these on sale for $5 each. The regular price though is only like eight bucks. So, I mean, they're very cheap and they're good quality. Like I love this, it feels really nice. It's a soft material. It feels good on the skin. And you know, we all can use basic knits if you wanna wear it under a jacket, under a cardigan, wear it by itself with just some jeans. Like we all need these just basic knit tanks so i always recommend hitting up target every year to get one or two of their knit tanks for the summer it's nothing spectacular but i think the print is just so cute that's what made me pick this one up i have it with these blue jeans on but i think that because there's black in it i think that black jeans will really set this off nicely so when i wear it that's probably how i'll style it so yeah I like it. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have many, many more plus size fashion hauls coming up for you guys and also some other content that I'll be sprinkling in. So if you don't want to miss that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know, are you a Target shopper? Do you have Target in your area? And if you do, do you frequent them as much as I do? <laughs> Drop down in the comments and let me know.
So that's it for my Target haul. Now I'm sure as the weather gets a little warmer out, they're gonna bring out even more stuff. And I will also say they do have a lot more variety on their website. So check them out as well if you know they do have some other things available. Next time I might just go ahead and order from the website instead of just going right into the store. Okay guys, so I'll see you in my next video. Bye.